So as you can see, I'm wearing my coasters, but I met these guys at Mahio the other day. It's pretty interesting. Let's check them out. Hey, how's it going? All right, so tell me about the Bahio. All right, why do I need to buy Bahios instead of my coasters? Well, first you gotta protect your eyes, right? If you're out there uh, all day in the bright sun, you need to protect your eyes. You need to be good it. glasses. Right. So right. we started Bahio about a year ago. We okay. based on three things. Had the absolute clearest sunglass lens. So we took color enhancing technology, we laid another technology on top of it, a box called the blue light. So it's a patented technology. So these are blue light blocks and color enhancing. No one else does it. That's that patent. So we talk about blue light on our phones and our screens. The sun's the largest producer of uh, blue light in the world, right? So we want to block that. We want to black all the bad blue. So the colors will pop and the clarity will be off the charts. You didn't tell me that the other day, blue light. I got secrets. I can bury. So have the absolute clearest sunglass lens. We patented that technology. And then you spend a lot of money for our product, let's treat you right. Let's not nickel and dime. Right? Our warranty and our customer service will be more PP. If you drop and break your glasses, you send them back to the factory where they're made on Daytona Beach. You got it. Uh, we fix them, we break even on that. If you're framed, same thing, you break your frame, send them back, we fix them, we break even on it. It's our fault, we do it for free. No shipping and handling, none of that kind of nonsense, if you will. Right. The price is the price. Let's treat people right. And then if you care about the planet, we know one more sustainable focus than us. From our packaging to our, our, our frame materials, to everything we do, we, we care about the planet. But right. number one, technology, and number two, customer service. Well, the blue light is amazing, because I actually have a pair of blue light blocking glasses I wear in the evening sometimes, because I am aware of what blue light does. A lot of people don't know what, what blue light is, but it, it's a legit thing that you need to consider. But these glasses freaking block it. I didn't know that. I think blue light, you think, you know, as seen on TV, it's blue yeah. light glasses, but there's so much more to it, to your point, right? It's early onset of macular degeneration, eye fatigue, headaches. You know, you get typically old technology, you get off you get off the boat, you get off the water, you're kind of rubbing your eyes, and it's heavy and it's fatigue. You'll wear big heels. Again, it goes back to that patented lens technology. So we are you wear those big heels, you come off, your eyes are still feeling fresh. All right, so are these blocking blue light? They're blocking a little bit of blue light. But what we're able to do is we're able to block more blue light, significantly more blue light than any of our competitors with that new technology. All right, now the other day you were telling me who made Bahia? Yeah, so we're all uh, industry veterans. You know, I spent 17 years at Costa Sunglasses. Uh, our CEO spent 20 years running marketing there. So, at Costa. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I did the math on our building one day. It's about 300 years of combined sunglass experience. Okay. So we kind of, you know, we have a pretty good idea of what we're doing. Right. In a year. So next week, we're our kind of year anniversary. We sold over 50,000 pairs of sunglasses. Right. Based on those three things. Technology, customer service, or taking care of the environment. So essentially, the guys that, you know, some the brains in Costa, yep. separated from Costa, we created Bahio that is a little bit better that ups Costa's game. Yeah, so you know, like technology evolves over the time, and where we are today, we're on the forefront of that technology. So, so, so Costa is kind of happy where they're at. They're kind of flowing along, but Bahio stepped up the line. Yeah. Costa's a great product, and you know they paid for a lot of diapers for my kids, and a lot of bonus payments for me. Great experience, uh, but things evolve. So we want to improve on all those things. What we could do is being a small company focused on the individual customer. Great, that is easy to sell. So it's Costa-ish. But it's better than Costa, and it's kind of what Costa has left behind in the dark. You guys are imp implementing into your glasses. That's what we're trying to do. We try to go green. Easy sell. Easy sell. Bahios. You need some Bahios. You go, Greg. All right, so let's just try a pair on. Okay. I mean, they look just awesome, but the clarity in here. You're right, man. I mean, it is different. It's different. It is different. Clearest, clearest lens on the market. It's got to be the, the blue lens. I mean, the, the blue light factor. Yep. Very nice. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Thanks, Trip. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, man. Cool. All right, so Sean is a genius in the subject. He just gave me a really good education. So, really quick, the important things that I learned is you have glass and poly lenses, all right? And the difference is, you know, you only want poly if you want a little bit lighter weight and you want something that is ballistic proof, right? So if like a bullet or a leader or something hits you in the eye, or if you're riding a, a motorcycle, the, the poly is not going to break and let whatever, you know, is flying at you into your eye. But now glass is still gonna pretty much do that same thing, uh, but you know, it's not guaranteed not to break, but it's really pretty durable. He just took his freaking ring and knock, knock, knock against his, his glass glasses and they didn't break. All right, but the advantages of glass are it's gonna be a little bit clearer and the actual film and the junk on it that makes it a sunglass is more consistent. The mixture, there's a lot that goes into that. 
So you're doing a lot better there, but you have the clarity, but then also, most important to me, is gonna be like scratch resistant. So poly's gonna scratch a lot easier, and glass is gonna be a lot more scratch resistant. So I basically try to determine, okay, so why do I want poly over glass, or glass over poly? Well, essentially, I think it breaks down to, all right, if you have poly lenses, you, know, you want those for the ballistic, right? That's the only advantage, uh, and a little bit of weight, but who really cares about the weight a whole lot? But the major downfall, to those is it's gonna be it's gonna, gonna get scratched and everybody hates freaking scratch glasses right because you can't see as clear right but let's just say a leader or something that comes and hits you in your poly lenses it's gonna scratch your lens you're gonna need a new set of glasses right but if you have a glass lens and something hits those it, it, it might break them but it's gonna be a lot less likely to scratch them so to me it sounds like you'd be better off with glass lenses because if something hits it you're gonna need to replace either glass Right, but I mean, they're all gonna be tough and durable. So you may as well get glass because it's more scratch resistant and it's a lot clearer and it's just a better product. So there you go. Have you ever wondered the difference? I know I did. I didn't realize there were so much differences in lens types with glasses, but there is. So there you go, just gave you a little education. Sharing something with you that I learned here at the show. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate you and Bio for educating me because now I'm just a little bit more dangerous.